Coach, if you would open with a statement following the win. Yeah, um, just another great battle. I mean, back to back, it's always tough. Um, you got to give credit to Wisconsin Whitewater. I mean, a phenomenal, phenomenal team. I mean, very well coached. I mean, the effort and energy is relentless. I mean, 90 minutes of just hard nose battling, um, you know, just the set pieces, long throws. I mean, every time they crossed half, it seemed like we were, you know, under it. So um, you really, really have to give credit um, to the effort and energy they brought. Um, obviously, for us to, you know, find a way to get a result. I mean, second day in a row, we're outshot and um, we're finding ourselves on the right end of the score line. Um, you know, you got to be uh, got to be excited about your effort as a team. Question, Eric. Does anything change, or I guess what changes from a 24-hour turnaround like that, having two games in 24 hours? Uh, well, we knew uh, right at coming off that win last night, we immediately had to start focus on recovery, uh, getting food in us, and just uh, another thing we did is we uh, went and jumped in, made our own ice tubs uh, back at the hotel, make sure we're really getting recovery, getting a good night's rest, and make sure we're getting a good breakfast in us. So we're really just trying to do everything we can to get ourselves prepared for the next game. I tell a good thing or a bad thing to have familiarity with an opponent at this point in the season. Yeah, I think it's it's always good to have the revenge card, um, being the team that uh, you know doesn't win the first game. Um, but I think uh, you know when you get to this point of your season, you know you're always playing a good team. I think uh, you know our game was September seventh. You know, I mean, long time ago at this point. You know, over two months. I mean, it seems like a season ago at this point. So um, we knew they were going to have adjustments. We've had adjustments along the way. Um, you know, obviously. Um, you know, for us to get another chance to play, you know, uh, again, uh, a team that we really respect. Again, I, th I think they're very well coached. They're very organized. Um, you know, it, it always makes it exciting to kind of get that, you know, second chance. Um, we were almost talking about it as a, a boxing match, like, you know, like Frazier Ali number two. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's always fun. Eric, what were you guys able to do defensively the last couple of days? I mean, 57 shots against in only two days and just two goals allowed. And one of those is on a PK. It's it's being it's all about the grind for us. It's not being taken down. It's about keeping our energy high and just taking the punches as they come. Like you said, like a boxing match, be able to like get back up and and know we're going to be able to fight back and and be able to adapt to what they're throwing at us. Does it get frustrating at all to be like here it is again, again, again? Just how kind of relentless it was at points this weekend. Yeah, I mean, uh, Whitewater and Carthage both very relentless teams. Uh, I got to hand it to them there. Uh, but I think that's another key component of, of our of our team, of our family, is that, you know, we have that same, if not higher, a level of relentlessness. So, Coach, yesterday you guys gave up an early goal <coughs> behind. Today you scored the early goal. What did that do to lifting the team spirits in a game like today? I think it, it, it excited us. Um, you know, anytime you fall behind, <coughs> you know, it's an uphill battle. Um, it makes things tougher, um, you know, than getting that first goal. I think the first goal – motivated us in the sense of, you know, we got the first one, let's see if we can get the second one. Um, you know, creating a PK off of, you know, a ball across the six, um, you know, guy, handball, you know, it just, it's part of the game. Um, we've been on the wrong end of that before this season. Um, we were fortunate to get that opportunity to get a free shot on goal. Um, to go up 2-0, well, it, it was a good, a good sense to, you know, again, back to back, getting guys extra run, you know, getting guys extra minutes, getting rest, you know, for our starters who played tremendous minutes in double overtime yesterday. Um, it kind of gave us a chance to, you know, again, just kind of kind of see where um, we were going to be. That that goal that came off their, you know, 30th set piece, I mean, we finally gave one up. But, um, you know, being able to go on the break with a lead was, was definitely something we were uh, excited to have. And we talked about zero at the back. And, um, you know, saying, hey, you know, we're 45 minutes away from, you know, not conceding a goal. Um, we're going to advance. And uh, we did what we had to do. And um, I definitely think the early start um, made things a lot easier. Because when you fall behind against a team like Whitewater, um, it's really tough to come back. Both of you guys, did it ever feel like it was a 2 nothing lead there in the first half? You were on the field. <laughs> I mean, for for us, uh, we of course we're excited. We're up 2-0, but Whitewater is a team that if you let them back into the game, no matter what the score is, it's not going to be good. So uh, we try to always think of it at 0-0, and for us, a 2-0 lead is probably one of the most dangerous leads to have because as soon as one goes in, there's a momentum shift, and it's easy for them to get back in the game. Did 
you guys envision this moment at the beginning of the year? I, I think I think for us, it's just about getting better. I mean, you know, every day, you know, it's just again. He he mentions the grind. It's it's really about just you know trying to be your best. Um, you know, we've had opportunities this season to go through some tremendous adversity. Um, you know, it's it's something that you know you're never going to be perfect. It's something you know we're we're not perfectionists, but we are trying to be the best that we can be as a team. And I think um, you know this experience is obviously going to help us. Um, you know, before the game, we talked about evolving. You know, getting to this point of the season and. Uh, trying to adapt, you know, to the opponent. And I think, um, you know, if you look at our, our first game against Whitewater, you see two teams that have adapted and evolved. And um, to play this game, you know, it, it was definitely uh, something that we both can appreciate, you know, appreciating the moment, appreciating this time. Uh, did we know we'd be this far? Probably not. But I think, um, you know, as you're building momentum, you, you gain confidence, you start believing. And, um, yeah, so... Awesome. Right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you.